What's going on guys? It is Fatal Reaper Day bringing you guys a video. We are with the HP Pavilion Gaming Laptop for this example today. We are basically, I'm showing you guys how to turn your gaming laptop into a PC. So as you, as you can see here, we have a bunch of cords uh, plugged into the core, uh, plugged into the uh, monitor over here. We're basically turning this gaming laptop into, uh, you know, basically a desktop in that sense. So what you're going to need for this video is an external monitor, external keyboard, external mouse, and you're pretty much good to go. Make sure you have an HDMI cable as well, any uh, well, and a USB splitter at that. USB splitters are typically about five or ten dollars. You can find them at Walmart or any pretty much any kind of office store, Office Max, Walmart, uh, probably Target, something like that. Any you'll find, you can pretty much find those anywhere. There'll be links down in the description for this keyboard, this mouse, this monitor, everything in the description down below if you guys want to see it. So this is all you'll need to basically turn your gaming laptop into a PC. So now we've got the PC. So basically what you're doing is you're running your gaming laptop. It's basically asking, uh, acting like the desktop here. Desktop to my right, except the desktop, of course, is not uh, running. It is unplugged. This is just the gaming laptop. We're basically running off the gaming laptop onto this monitor with the new keyboard, the external keyboard, external mouse, etc. So we've got all this plugged in, and it's essentially turning this gaming laptop into a PC. Now we're basically running it off on the monitor, and you you basically have like a PC. So um, it, it's pretty simple. Um, it's a definitely a big upgrade too for if you are playing on just a laptop and you want to kind of diversify yourself, be using a different keyboard, different mouse. You can use this keyboard, this mouse, and this monitor. Now this is a cap of 120 hertz monitor. On this again, apologize for the shaky video. I'm taking this on my phone uh, instead of a normal just recording on the monitor. So we've got the, um, as I said, the cap of 120 hertz on the monitor. Now that's due because it only has an HDMI cable for the gaming laptop. That is normal and standard for most of your gaming laptops. You're just going to have a HDMI port. They're not going to have a DVI port. So you're going to be capped with most monitors to 120 hertz. And you can't access the free sync that this monitor, the MSI monitor for this video has. So you will be capped to that. As you can see, that's all the cords plugged in and ran, and now it's a little. You probably have a lot better setup, or could have a better setup. I have a little uh, cords kind of everywhere at the moment with this because my PC is normally plugged up, not the laptop. That being said, guys, also I want to go ahead and note something. We're going to test Minecraft in this uh, in this uh, example. We were going to test. I was going to test Fortnite. I forgot Fortnite is not downloaded or updated on this laptop just yet. I forgot to do that. We're going to just test Minecraft for this example. 120 hertz is the cap for a just um, a gaming laptop for the HDMI port. You will not get any more FPS just because of hertz. A lot of people out there have been showing these videos. I've been watching people saying, "Oh, I got more uh, FPS with this monitor." Completely false, wrong information. Not trying to be rude in any way. It's completely false. Do not listen to that. Do not go buy a monitor if you think you're going to get more FPS. Monitor is only affecting your hertz, your visual, so to speak. And the refresh rate. It is not affecting your FPS whatsoever. You will not get more or less FPS. You will get the same FPS that you did before because it's the same system. You're just having a better visual because it's a better monitor. It has higher hertz. You it basically your eyes are going to see a better visual. As you can see, we're playing Minecraft here just to show you an example that it is in fact working. And this is playing off the gaming laptop. Nothing else. This is me using the key, this keyboard and mouse, and an external keyboard, and an external mouse, and an external monitor. You could even go far as using an external webcam, like I've got up there, if you wanted to. Again, there's going to be links down in the description below for all of this: the monitor, the keyboard, the mouse, the laptop, and the webcam. If you guys want to do that, or want to look into doing something like that, of course, it doesn't have to be this monitor. It can be any other monitor. I'm just showing you guys how you can turn your gaming laptop into a PC. And that's what we've done here. You've essentially taken all these components, plugged it up into this, and it's essentially like I'm playing my PC. It's no different if I was playing my PC right now. Basically, I've turned the laptop, and it, the laptop is my PC in that sense. Of course, you're going to want to plug your laptop up to its charger to make sure it's constantly got that full charge. And you'll sit here and be able to just play games as normal. And uh, as you can see here... Um, you know, the laptop is on. Your, your screen's going to turn off, though, when you do plug it up to your external monitor. I'm not sure if there's a way to do dual monitor setup for that. I'm not 100% sure. I've never looked into that. But uh, the monitor typically will turn off on the laptop, and then it will come and show up on your external monitor. 
guys that's pretty much the video that's how you turn your gaming laptop into a pc in a sense um that's the best way to do it it's not really an expensive expensive way especially if you have an extra monitor or keyboard or mouse laying around be sure to like and subscribe as always guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions or concerns comments leave me in the car leave me in the comments down below thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video